a very good morning to all the students of class 6 so can you hear me students <coughs> okay so lot of students present today tanujit saptara okay joyita okay tori binayak so students today in our social science geography class we will going to discuss the rest of the components of map and these components are direction and symbol okay so first we going to discuss about the direction so students this sub unit is present in your book page number 24 okay so let's begin the discussion that most maps you know that in most maps there is a symbol in this way okay n so what is the symbol what is the meaning of this symbol this symbol denotes the northern portion in a map okay suppose if i no geography book is same okay in geography book there was no change okay and there is no change the same book we use uh, that we have used in previous year okay so this is the northern por portion so if i draw a map for your understanding okay so this is india so in the india it is the northern portion means this is the north of india okay so from this symbol we can easily identify the rest of the portion such as this is north so this one it is east this one it is the west and this one is the south so in a map in this way we can define the direction and directions are very important in a map So, and uh, these symbols also called the cardinal points okay this directions also called cardinal points remember carefully and except this main directions there are other four intermediate directions such as this one if this is north it is north east and this one that is the between the east and south it is the south east this portion between the north and west it is called north west and this portion between the west and south is called south west so these four are called the intermediate directions and these four directions east west north south in a map is called the cardinal the cardinal point okay remember carefully so these are the main eight symbols in a map now uh, we can uh, we can find out any place on the surface of a map with the help of these symbols okay and the direction in the uh, such as the direction of the community center the playground from bikas house okay the direction of school from shops so in a map is given in your book page number 4. Point, uh, page number 25 figure number 4.1 look at carefully that in this map some uh, different features are given such as so this is the map of your village or a locality so this is a school okay so this is a school i did notice with s there are some uh, this is a road okay so these are the road this is forest area
ओके एंड दीज आर मार्केट प्लेस एंड दीज आर हाउसेस एंड टेम्पल्स वर देयर जस्ट ऑपोजिट साइड ऑफ द स्कूल so without giving any uh, writing anything okay you can direct uh, yes very good the community center is situated in a north of the vikas house so in this way in a map we can see so in the similar way uh, you, uh, can you tell me that the school is situated in which direction of the market can you tell me here in the comment box that the school is situated in the map Uh, i have drawn here in which direction of the market place binayak it is not east market place is here in look in uh, my map i have drawn the uh, map in my book in my uh, board okay north east south east who says south east okay the correct answer is uh, so not southeast it is the south west which direction it is the southwest direction because the school is situated in the southwest of market place and from school it is situated in the northeastern direction okay so this is the north so in this way it is the northeast so it is also northeast and from the market place it is situated in the southeast okay so in this way we can define the direction of any place or any particular thing with the help of direction okay okay i am rubbing this now another important thing that is compass what is compass do you know what is compass compass is a this type of device okay an analog device and in this analog device this type of needle is fixed and it was always placed towards north and south it was always point towards north and south and it is uh, made with a magnet so this is called compass so in this way we can easily define the other directions already drawn here so it is the east and it is the west and the rest of the direction like uh, southwest northeast northwest southeast okay so in this way we can define the different directions in a compass so this is called compass so in long ago when uh, this modern navigation when satellites and uh, artificial satellites and all these things were not discovered at that time the sailors in the ocean they use this compass to sail long distances okay so i think you have understood the direction okay how direction very much important in a map now we going to discuss about the symbol okay so look at your book page number 26 that what is symbol that symbol is a, a, another important component of a map and it is not possible to draw on a map in actual shape and size of different features such as buildings roads bridges trees railway lines or as well they are shown by using certain letters shades colors pictures and lines and these symbols gives us lot of information so to uh, there are lot of symbols these symbols used in a map to find out any place without any language these are called conventional symbols okay and we can uh, these symbols give us a lot of information a uh, 
in a limited space okay so you can collect information from maps with the help of these symbols and maps have a universal language that can be understood by all suppose uh, the people from russia he came to uh, india first time but he don't know the language he used in india he don't know english even english so english hindi bengali other language uh, languages totally uh, unknown to him or her so what happened the symbols help him or her to find out the actual location of any place suppose he wants to came uh, wants to visit the golden temple in amritsar so don't know the uh, direction and uh, play, uh, the locality of golden temple so golden temple situated in punjab so what happened with the help of uh, map he can easily find out the place where golden temple is situated now today uh, maps are so much advanced that in google map we can find out any places with the help of these symbols okay so th mm, they are also a uh, lot of symbols used so that is the main important thing of symbol that without language without language they gives us information they give us information okay so this is the most important thing of language and uh, various colors are used for the same purpose for example generally blue is used for showing water body so what are the different different colors used for uh, used to mention different different uh, geographical features i am mentioning here okay so blue blue is used to for water bodies in a map next one next one brown used for mountains number 3 and green for grasslands very good joyita and tanujit very good and green for grasslands okay this type of symbols also used okay so this is the uses of different different colors okay now some of the conventional uh, conventional symbols also used and shown in the book okay so i'm rubbing this one i think you have understood the different different colors use of different different colors in a map next one the conventional system such as railway railway lines in a map railway lines different different railway lines are there they are broad gauge meter gauge and the railway station so the broad gauge shown in a map in this way okay so meter gauge meter gauge drawn in this way and railway station the railway station also drawn in this way okay so these are the symbols conventional symbols used in railway okay this is for broad gauge this is for meter gauge and this is for the railway station next one it is the roads there are two types of roads used uh, 
metalled and unmetalled okay metal roads that the highways these are metal roads and unmetalled roads these are made up with just soil and other things so metal road this is metal road okay what happened joita what happened who is giving emojis don't give emojis here delete all this delete all these emojis don't give emojis here listen carefully okay unmetal road is like that okay this is unmetal road when we will draw a map so then we will use these symbols then you will understand okay so next one it is boundary international boundary so international boundary is like that the state boundary these are also in this way international boundaries are in written in bold form but in uh, the state boundaries these are not in bold form okay this is state boundary okay so in this way there are different different symbols okay we will draw a map when uh, i'll show you the all the symbols so you can look at uh, these symbols in page number 26 figure number 4.3 now another two thing th in the map this is sketch and plan what is sketch okay what is sketch that a sketch is a drawing mainly based on memory and spot observation and not to scale sometimes a rough drawing is required of an area to tell where a particular place is located with respect to other places suppose you want to go to your friend's house but you don't know the way so your friend may make a rough drawing to show you the way to his house so such a rough drawing is drawn without scale is called a sketch map okay and every day we use this sketch map next one it is plan and a plan is a drawing of a small area of a large scale and a large scale map gives lot of information but there are certain things which we may sometimes want to know for example the length and breadth of a room so which cannot be shown in a map so at that time we can refer drawings drawn on a scale called a plan okay so in uh, apartments in any buildings when you see they there is a plan okay so where was the kitchen where was the drawing room dining room all these things are clearly drawn on a plan okay so this is the difference between sketch and plan so when i will give you the question and answers then i'll detail i'll discuss it in detail okay students i hope you have understood if you have any question regarding this chapter you can ask me no problem okay thank you everyone thank you for attending this class see you in the next class with the question answers of chapter number 4